Well, I finally did it and went all in, and the Oldsmobile is getting its new front end ready for summer cruising. I can't wait. <laughs> Passenger side just needed uppers and lowers, but the driver's side was a different story. The control arm needed to be taken apart and have all new bushings as well as ball joints. So we went ahead and did that and got that all taken care of and you can see the bushings were just gone. So we got that fixed and got the car back together and now we're ready to get it along. We're back to the house. Now we got some work to do on the car. So we got the that done but now we got to get it aligned and get it tuned up and we're gonna have some fun with it so now that we got the ball joints fixed get this thing fired up this early monday morning and we're gonna head down to the alignment shop and get it ready because so it still drives okay but it, if it pulls it pulls real fast and it needs to be aligned so we're gonna take it real easy down there and get this thing fixed and we'll be back on the road one of the things I'm really wanting to do this year with this car is to drive it a little more and uh, make some more videos with it. It's a great car, but it needs a lot of work that I've put off the last couple of years because I've been busy, you know, with my regular job. Uh, so, I'm going to take this up to the alignment shop up there in Wichita. It's going to be a slow trip because it's really drifting quite a bit. So we'll get all that squared away. We'll get up to the alignment shop and uh, then we'll have to go on to the next thing to get this thing ready. I had to put a quart of oil in it before we took off. Not sure what this car does worth burn oil or drip oil, but it goes through a bit of oil, maybe about a quart every three, four hundred miles, but most of it ends up on the ground. So I know it's got bad valve seals, but I'm really not too concerned about it at the moment. The car does run pretty good, so we'll just keep on doing it until we can. And there she goes, headed into the shop to get the alignment done. So we got bad news. The center link is bad, and the uh, one of the I the idler arm is bad. Um, the problem, and I knew this would happen because it always does, is once you start replacing old parts, if you only replace one or two of them at a time, other problems will pop up immediately. And now, while it's not scrubbing out tires or anything like that, it is going down the road straight there's a bit of slack in it because the parts that were all kind of broke in together have suddenly they're fighting against each other now so we're gonna go price out uh, we're gonna go price out some parts and uh, see what we can find and then we'll just have to go from there so it's the next day we're gonna head up to Walmart I gotta buy some a new battery for this car uh, a little bit of an embarrassing situation the other day the car battery decided to die right on the alignment rack 
And that could probably be the problem right here. So, I guess we need to go buy a battery. I gotta go to town anyways to go get the uh, idler arm that they didn't have yesterday. So, we get the idler arm, we'll have all our parts, and we can get this thing torn apart and put back together. Just kidding, I, I actually do have a socket. Nah, too long. I know I got I know I got something somewhere. I actually really just truly hate side posts. Uh, they're just the worst design ever. On a side note, it's remarkable how well the battery tray still looks. That's why changing your battery is important, but it's also just as important to keep the battery tray clean. If you notice acid or something starting to drip down, you got a bad battery or and you need to clean your tray immediately because that acid will uh, just corrode everything and next thing you know your battery's falling through the fender well so which has or hasn't happened so we got the new battery in and uh, I'm down here looking at where these bolts are they're just covered in oil but I can hit them from here uh, so we'll get them all loosened up and climb up under here and let's see Yep, that one and that one, followed by that one. Whoops. These right here are the uh, idler arm bolts. We'll grease them up. So, on the inside of the fender, they go through a hole in the firewall, or in the frame, right here. So, we'll spray those down too. We'll let them sit a little while. I'll probably have to get in there and actually clean the grease off and do it again. But we'll have to jack the car up. But let me show you what I got. So I got a new center link. This was about $55. It comes with the joints and all that. Too bad you just can't get the rebuild kits anymore. You got to buy the whole link now. Um, and the idler arm here. And this was discontinued. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully we can find another one if we need it. Uh, then I bought a new grease gun and some grease. I've had about six grease guns and I can't find any of them. So I got one with a flexible tip. Even though I had these new joints and everything put in, it'll be good for me to go over just to give it a touch. You know, whoever works on your car, if you've noticed from my other videos, it's important to check their work. It's not that you don't trust them. But people do forget things, and this is a new mechanic that I used. I've never used them before. So, it's going to be important for you to go over everything, you know, to make sure that the job was done right. And it doesn't hurt to shoot a little grease on these old cars. So now that we're back, we got the battery in, the car fires up just fine. Let me show you what's wrong with the front end. We'll start with the passenger side. We get over here, grab the wheel. A little shake. Doesn't really move. So, we go over here to the driver's side. Give it a little shake. It's moving. So, that's the problem. You can see where you put the new ball joints on, but this these bushings here are shot. And uh, the idler bushing is too. If I grab the wheel, you can kind of see it. Right, yep, right there. So, said so the idler was bad. I, I'm doing it, and it's not really doing anything, so I'll have to check that when we uh, get the center bar off. It is really dirty under here. Uh, it's embarrassingly dirty under here, honestly. So I'm going to clean a bit of this up and then uh, try to get this thing undone okay so I broke down and I'm taking this thing to the car wash even it was too filthy for me so let's get a bunch of this grease off and I've already hosed it down with degreaser at the house I'm gonna do it again and then we're gonna hit it with a high pressure and hopefully she's good to go got it right over the drain so hopefully I don't ruin the floor and if I do I'll clean it up for the guy Good guy owns this place, so I gotta take care of it. 
so we got it all washed so I'm gonna get under here and start disconnecting things and uh, it looks a whole lot better uh, it was pretty nasty so let me go find my pickle fork and uh, a wrench and some pliers and I can have this thing undone in just a few minutes and they said the idler arm was bad and then got a little play in it so I'll have to take this out and then we'll have to check this and if this doesn't have the play in it I, I won't mess with it but I do have a new one so let's uh get this crossbar off and see what happens there okay so we got it out a uh, little tougher than I thought it was stuck but it was more pinched than anything. The hardest part was getting the bar over that little lip right there. It was like it was jammed. But, got it out. Now let's pull the new bar out of the uh, package and see what that entails. So we've got the new one next to the old one and they look just pretty close. Uh, a little bit different in design, but uh, they look like they will, uh, it'll be a straight bolt up, so. They are directional. One side is a little longer than the other, so let's hope everything works out here. Well, bad news. We went and, uh, remember when I put the two center links together and one had a slight bend and the other one was straight, but other than that, they looked identical. Uh, that slight bend made all the difference in the world. I. Uh, put the new one in, had it all up, got looking, and it was rubbing straight up to the oil pan. It was rubbing on the oil pan. So, I guess we have to take the part back and uh, to the auto parts store. Hopefully, we can find the right one. Uh, but, if not, I guess this journey is going to end because the car is going to have to go to, together with the old parts until we can find the new ones because these are not easy parts to find. So... Let's see if we can find the right part. Well, there's good news and bad news. Good news is we did locate the part. Bad news is it's not going to be here for a couple of days and I have to go back to work. So, as much as I was hoping to finish this video off with a drive off into the sunset, or at least how far the murky blue smoke of the engine would take me, I guess we'll just have to end it here because real life does call. And this is, this is a hobby. This is fun. But it's more important to pay my bills at this point. So, the car's going to sit here on jack stands. When I get back, slap it together real quick. And uh, uh, it should be alright. I mean, it went together really easily. Just four bolts, four cotter pins, bing, bang, boom. She's off to the races. But, I thought about sticking the old bar back in and uh, making it where it was at least drivable. But not really worth it being as I'm gonna have to take it all right back apart when I get home so on that note I do have some good news the Torino is all cleaned off and I'm hoping to get back to this here in the next month also I really want to drive this car but it's been sitting it's been broken a lot longer than it's been sitting and the last video of me driving it really was the last time I drove it and it's been almost two years so it's time to get it going again but on that note I appreciate it uh, sorry I couldn't get it going hmm, parts but when things order and you're not home you just kind of got to depend on other people so the parts coming in red's gonna pick it up and then we'll be off to the races so I appreciate it thanks for watching have a good day and we'll see you on the road